All right, hello, good evening. Prom, as promised, we are going to be doing our um, chicken fingers and we are going to make mashed white gravy. Uh, instead of potato wedges, we decided we were just gonna go with some mashed potatoes. Um, I'm pretty sure everyone knows how to make those, so we won't, we won't be including those. So we finished our panko bread crumb, so reminder, Please inbox me and remind me to buy some more breadcrumbs. Sid! What? Breadcrumbs on the grocery list. I just used the last of them. The Franco breadcrumb. Mm-hmm. What do you need? Ice. So, Sid's going to use the kitchen for a moment. Be right back. Sid needs to move around. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Okay. So, we're just trying to videotape because he's uh, being offensive over here. So, I'm trying to make him stop. I'm trying, trying to end that conversation. Sid, what were you talking about again? How beautiful the sky is today. <laughs> yeah. What were we talking about, babe? <laughs> See? I love YouTube. Shuts him right up. I'm going to keep watching your phone. Oh, factory reset? Yes. Okay. So, I am uh, opening the chicken, and I did cheat just a tad, so let's move you down here so you can see. Um, I got a, a pack of tender chicken tenderloins, so meaning that they're already chicken strips, just raw ones. Okay, so let me do this. Okay, yeah, we need a way better method of videotaping so those of you who don't know my uh videotaping tool is my uh tablet my galaxy tab one is what i'm using and it's not exactly the most appropriate device i don't, would say to use for videotaping because it's um you can't manipulate the height or you got to sit it on something and moving around and you can't point it down thing. I need a real camera with a tripod or something. I am fancy to be making videos. So um, we have these. Um, I, I like to clean them up just a little bit and as you know I'm always using my kitchen scissors and then they come with this little hard bristly piece here. I always like to cut that off. See it doesn't even want to cut. See. So I'm going to just clean these up a little bit and uh, get them ready to, our grease is oil, our oil is heating up. Um, so I'll just kind of clean these up and uh, get them ready to go into the breading, which is our typical breading that we use around here. Same old, same old, except for I don't necessarily double dip these. Um, from egg to panko and then back and forth um, just simply because chicken is one of those things um, I don't want a real too thick of a coating on it so um, we're gonna season these a little bit be prior to breading um, I think that the flavors get um, into the chicken a little better when they go great on directly onto the chicken versus um, on in in the breading, um, but also we um, season the panko breadcrumbs with a little bit of garlic salt, um, and so uh, also our um, flour as usual has cornstarch in it. I have an egg wash, haven't stirred it up yet, but I'll add some water to this to help break it down. We'll have our egg wash, and then we are going to make our um, our chicken strips. So, I'm going to add a little bit of an unconventional ingredient here in a little while to our breadcrumbs for a little extra crispiness to our um, recipe. It will be a surprise. Um, so, we're going to work on this. I'm going to finish cleaning these up. Um, I'm going to just do, uh, get a little prep work done that doesn't need to be shared. It's just you know, 
cutting stuff, cleaning stuff, moving stuff around. Um, when I get ready to start seasoning everything, I'll come back. Okay, so we're uh, mixing our mixing our egg wash. I'm um, gonna flour ready our panko and garlic salts. Just a little bit, well, enough. So right now we're gonna go ahead and start seasoning our chicken. So I'm gonna put it out here on my board um, so we can make sure every piece gets seasoned. Then we're gonna add our secret ingredient to our So we're going to lay these all out here. I'm going to start seasoning them. Salt and pepper, little onion powder. Get a get our stuff in here. Go ahead and salt. Pepper. Okay. So we'll flip them all over. Then do the other side. Quickly going over. We're not heavily salting. I just um, I like to put it directly on the chicken first, putting in the breading, which is um, I used to add it to the egg wash, and that seems to kind of be a, a good vessel to get it to stick. But you, you just lose so much of the flour and the egg and the, all that. It just I just don't feel like we get as much. Okay, so I use something a little unconventional for my chicken strips. It's a little bit of poultry seasoning. And I don't even put it on it. I put it in my hand. And I actually just very, 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 very lightly put just a little tiny bit on each one. And it just has so much of the different flavors that make chicken wonderful that it just, I just, just very lightly over all of it and we just flip them all over and it's actually soaking up a little bit of what has landed on the board beside wherever it was laying and uh we go again on the other side so i just fill my hand with some i rub my hands together just slightly pat her over all of these and it's it's, like, it's just so many great spices in there okay so we're good to go then. We're going to go with a little bit of um, garlic powder. And we do it real fast. And then we're going to do a little bit of onion powder. Far away, far away. Just real fast. So they're almost like they're breaded already. Um, just really, I think. The chicken, the juice of the chicken, and the it soaks into it so much more this way. You have a lot of flavor on each strip when you eat it. Mm. Alright, so we are good to go with all of our spices and our seasons. Um, so now for our special ingredient. Okay, here you go. Secret ingredient. Special K cereal. I take it. Smash it. And zip lock that. To very firm consistency, or sometimes I'll put it in my food processor. And uh, mix it in with my brick crumbs. Crispier, uh, fluffier, crispier uh, coating on the outside. You know, we'll add these to our breadcrumbs. Okay. 
I'm going to whisk this all together to be one big happy pink of breadcrumbs and cake and special cake um, breading. So it's going to be happy together in here. that all together. Just gotta kind of stir it um, more often than you would normally so that it doesn't settle because the, the cereal um, is a little bit lighter than the breadcrumb so it will tend to rise to the top. So let me get a plate. I use this to set these on as they're breaded. So we have a few. So we're going into the flour. Here we go again with our breading process. Um, with our chicken strips, you have to kind of roll them around a little bit, open up any other little folds or crevices, bring into an egg wash, soak it in a little bit both sides, and put it off, bring it into the mixture, the breading mixture. Press it down in there. I think we're going to go ahead and double dip these. This looks like it's just not that pretty. So let's go ahead and that. It's going to be a delicious chicken strip. I'm going to let that sit. I'm going to wrap and rest. I'm going to continue to uh, continue to uh, Bread the chicken strips and prepare them for frying. And uh, grease is heating up. And uh, I'm not going to bore you with the monotony of uh, breading each and every chicken strip, but we are going to get through the process, and then I'll be back with you. Another perfectly breaded, crispy chicken strips. Fun stuff. See in a few. Yeah. Might have been like, what? Okay. The idiot is on now. Peace. <laughs> okay, so we're still waiting for our oil to finish breading, but we have, to finish heating, but we have breaded uh, with our concoction of uh, pinko bread crumbs and special K cereal all mushed up together. So these chicken strips are pretty meaty. So the plan is we're gonna fry them to golden and then I've got my oven preheating at 350 and then we're gonna cook them for about 20 minutes in the oven. So just, you know, to make sure the inside of the chicken, but we have still that crispy fried outside. So we're gonna do a couple things here. Be right back. All right, here we are. We're getting ready to uh, Going in the gray scale, so the temperature is almost to the 350. So we're going to, um, I'm going to do these probably two at a time. They're so big. These are really big chicken strips. Could have made them smaller, but they're real juicy this way. So here we go. Grab my tongs. As you can hear in the background, we are uh, watching American Idol, and a Portia is singing. So I think she's going to be one of the one of the finalists. Super good singer. Been some people that I've already been off the show. I was a little disappointed about, but. So we're gonna be frying these here for, you know, until we know they're nice and golden brown. A little bit darker than this um, on the outside, but know that they're going in the oven. Uh, we're not uh, just 
or the frying on the outside is just for the uh, just for the crispy outside skin. So we're placing them here on our little rack. So the three strains, and we have them prepared and go in the oven. Um, since I took one out, I'm gonna go ahead and drop another one in. Keep the process moving. Check on our other one. Looks like it's nice and golden. And we don't have to worry about how done the chicken is on the inside because we're going to be worrying about that in the oven. So right now we're just trying to crispy up this great skin, this crispy layer we made on the outside with the cereal and the panko breadcrumbs and the eggs and the spices and just want all of that to become a juicy, delicious flavor. So I'm going to continue um, frying these until we get them. A pan full of juicy deliciousness. Um, I would turn them, you know, like clean, moving them around. Um, when they start to float, you know, they're getting close to done. And uh, you just don't want to put too many. And then um, I would say between every three or four uh, batches, you let your fryer sit. It's already showing below temperature as you put in your cold, the cold chicken in there. It's cooling down your grease. So if the slower it cooks, the more grease is absorbing into the meat, and we don't want greasy chicken. So we want a nice, crispy, seasoned chicken. So we need to let the let the oil reheat between batch between every couple of batches, so that we're 100% sure that we're getting a fast fry and not a slow fry. So we've got our green light back on again. So we're gonna So we got two more in and um, we're just making progress with those be happy make sure we move them around we don't want them frying together uh, but you don't want to touch them um, you don't want to handle them too much because you're knocking the breading off so we're evilly just kind of moving them around in the grease so they don't so here we go we're going to continue to um, work on our crispy chicken strips and uh, I'm going to keep turning them on and moving them and watching them and making sure every one of them gets like nice and crispy on the outside and uh, once we have a pan full we'll pull them in the oven for about 20 minutes uh, I'll be back I'll bore you with the repetition of frying three more batches of these you kind of get the point see them juicy deliciousness a little more be back with you. We're um, down to one lonely strip left to cook. The rest of them are in the oven. Getting all happily cooked on the inside. They have turned out so delicious and crispy. And look, my special recipe. Kentucky Fried Kiss My Booty. Church is who? Church is what? So we're going to put our last lonely chicken strip into the fryer and watch this other one and take this little guy and put him into the oven I'm... all right we're still watching american idol did they pick their own songs or did they? Yeah, they picked their own songs. Old rock songs. Oh, so they just picked the genre. Gotcha. Yeah, he, this guy's good. What was his name? Mackenzie. Mackenzie, yeah. They really did a good job picking the top five. So we have our last lonely one in the fryer and then we done frying. 20 minutes in the oven. Come back and show you our delicious creation. Make some white gravy. Um, yes, I can make white pan gravy. Am I going to? No. Uh, thank you to uh, 
I don't know, give you the brand of the gravy packs I make. They're wonderful. And uh, there's no need to stress yourself with the uh, pan pepper gravy. I don't know. You know what? I might go crazy tonight and teach everybody how to make pan white gravy in my cast iron skillet. Hmm. I'll think about it. See how American Idol goes. Okay, so here you see. Oh, hot, hot, hot. <laughs> so here's our. We had one that looked a little light, but it back in to get just a little bit crispier. So we're done with that. And we're going to uh, turn in this up. And we're going to take our, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The Rileys, did I? Oh, my cowboys? Oh, I'm so sorry. You need to offend anyone. So, deliciousness in the oven, 20 minutes. Cindy Damien, can we get 20 minutes on the clock, please? Okay, 20 minutes. 20 minutes and counting. See you back. We are having so much fun over here watching American Idol. This guy just rocked the house. It was great. Trent Harmon. Oh my God, he's saying sharp dressed man. And we were like blown away. Were we blown away, baby? Sydney? Were we blown away? Blown away. Even Sydney was blown away. Okay, so. Because Sydney did not put our 20 minute timer on as previously instructed. I'm telling you right now, I know these are so ready, lovely, and delicious. So, these are the best chicken strips in America. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. So, I'm going to make some mashed potatoes and I'm going to make some white gravy. Still on the debate whether I should make some homemade pan white pepper gravy. Mm. Still thinking about it. Yes, I can. Don't say it because my grandma would tell you better. She fed many people with her pan gravy. My skillet can do it. All right. We're going to make a video. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Zane's going to taste. That tastes better than chicken nuggets? One, three, four, five, six. Is it better than chicken nuggets? It's delicious. I think we have a seal approval. Okay, YouTube. I have been robbed. So remember when I had a full plate? Well, there are several chicken strips and partial mm. stolen. Stolen, I repeat. I'm calling Clute PD. Stolen by I don't know who might have stole my chicken strip. Who might have stole the <laughs> I stole it. Why'd you steal it? But how's it taste? Yummy. Tell them. Yummy. Is it delicious? Is it yummy or delicious? Delicious. Is it better? What's better? Uh, chicken nuggets from McDonald's or oh, those chicken? Chicken strips. Oh. They're delicious and nutritious and absolutely marvelous. Mmm. 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 
Bye-bye. You're the great cooker. I'm a great cooker. Who's a great cooker? I'm one too. Yes. You're a great cooker helper. Oh, because I always cook. Because you always come and help me cook. Oh. So guess what? We're going to make white pan gravy from scratch. Whoa. Just for our viewing public to prove we don't need a package. What's that? What's that? We can do this. Because my that? grandma, Myrtle. What's that? What's that circle? Myrtle. What's that? Taught me how to make pan gravy. Okay? There we go. Be back in a minute. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, hot Facebook. We are going to make homemade pan gravy. Yeah. First thing we do, we're going to preheat. And I only recommend stop. Hey, you want to be in the picture? Move your chair over here so your face is in the picture. You don't just put your hands. Okay, right there. Ready? Like Say hi, Facebook. Say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Okay, so, but don't touch the stove. Okay? So, we're going to put a little bit of uh, oil in here. I would say about three good tablespoons of oil. How many, how many is that oil? Three tablespoons. I'll get some. Nope, I already measured it. Because I have been doing this for a long time oh, so now so now we have some all-purpose flour and we are going to make what is called a roux for our white pan gravy so we're going to sprinkle four how, how long was that four take? tablespoons how long was three, that take to cook it we're gonna sprinkle our it just flour in our it Three just, big it, tablespoons, it just take, and we're gonna it, adjust as we that. as we modify as we go through the process. We're not talking and talking. We're trying to teach people how to make something special, so we don't want to oh, talk look, look too much. So look, this. we're gonna cook the we're gonna cook the oil because we don't want what you don't want is to taste flour. You want to flour to cook, so we're gonna make what's called. A roux. What's a roux? A roux is what you make when you're trying to make a gravy. A roux is the base of a gravy, which makes it get thicker as it cooks, so that we can, when it's done, it's not like just water. So we're going to continue to cook our flour. Is it, so is it three tablespoons, three tablespoons of oil. Four tablespoons of flour. Is it pretend flour? And no, it's not pretend flour. Look, that's real flour. Look, oh. we're gonna put about what would it be equivalent of a table a teaspoon Why do you of do black that? of black pepper? Because gravy needs to be have flavor. So oh. we're gonna put all this pepper in here. A lot of pepper. A lot of pepper. Nice. Oops. And then we spilled it. Okay. And a little bit of salt. Not a lot of salt. No. But a lot of pepper. So we're gonna continue to make our roux here. Let's continue. Keep going. Ooh. So we're still making our roux. And we'll <laughs> so we have milk. So when our roux is... What do we use milk for? Work to make the gravy. Whoa. So we're going to take our gravy and we're going to pour it into our roux. And then... And you just judge. Like when you feel like you've covered your roux, just Whoa. when you surface Look your roux... Look at milk. Milk and gravy. And, and if you feel like you don't think it looks like it's seasoned enough, you just add some more black pepper. Because black need, pepper what do you is need what black makes pepper for? white gravy. So we're going to bring gravy. this to a boil. Gravy? What do you mean it's gravy? You have mashed potatoes and gravy? Oh, yeah, right, 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 right. So we're having chicken strips mm. with gravy. We're going to make homemade white gravy the way my grandma 
make that? My grandma taught me to make this. How did she make that instead of flour? You know what? She used to make this for everything. She used to make it for fried potatoes. And see, it's getting too thick. You know why? It needs and, more. And what it, is no, it? if it gets too thick, well, it needs more milk. So you watch it. If it starts getting lumpy, like it looks like it's, like it's not gonna be real, it's not like, gonna be gravy. Like it's, like it's no. If it looks like it's gonna be dumplings instead of gravy, add some more milk, and you continue to stir. Um, I normally let's, we're gonna change vessels. Let's use a whisk. But you need let's whisk. Flour. We're gonna keep whisk flour. You have to have flour. Make it thick and juicy. Oh, is that you don't want it to be like water. Oh, oh is that the first thing? I no, think? the first thing's oil. Oh, oil and that? then flour. Then and what? and you have to cook the flour because you don't want it to taste like flour. It has you have to cook it so it doesn't taste like flour. So what? then we we'll just continue to whisk, whisk, whisk. Look, look how juicy, look how bubbly. Look, look how bubbly it is. Whoa, I see it. No, look it in the pan. Oh, you're gonna dip your chicken strips in there. That's oh, gonna be so yummy. It looks like ranch. It's no, we don't no, we don't put chicken strips in ranch. We put chicken strips in white gravy and we're gonna make mashed potatoes. No, it just looks like ranch. Well we're gonna make mashed potatoes. Does it look like ranch? You want some mashed potatoes too? Mm -hmm. You like mashed potatoes? Ooh, so we're gonna have yeah. mashed potatoes. With white gravy and chicken I, chips. And actually, I taste broccoli before. Broccoli is delicious. Yeah, I eat it with ranch. Ranch is good, and carrots with ranch too. You like you, carrots with ranch? Oh, you know bunnies like carrots. Carrots, like yes, bunnies like carrots. Do you like carrots? Oh, yep. You know how? You know why carrots? Um, hey, why are carrots good for you? What do they do? They make you see good. Carrots make your eyes look, your eyes are, if you eat a lot of carrots when you're little, you don't have to wear glasses when you get big. Oh, yeah, because I don't have big a lot eyes. Of, no, a lot of vitamins that make your eyes healthy. If you get too much? Uh, no, you need to eat a, more, as most carrots as you can. Okay? Okay, so. We like have our a, gravy. Like it's falling or stupid. So we have our gravy. And it look, we made homemade pan gravy. I was going to use a package. Mm -hmm. But I decided that my grandma deserved for me to show the world how to make homemade pan pepper gravy. So, look what we're going to do. We're going to put a little gravy on this spoon. While this is perfect. Then we're going to blow it off. How we blow? Taste it. No. You have to taste it too. Mm. Oh, taste it. Nope. We need some more salt. More salt? Yeah, I think so. Yep. Okay. Definitely need more salt. Because I was right? No. Because I only put a little bit. Because I try to keep low salt. Because Daddy has blood pressure. Yeah, because you're so cute. Oh, that's going to make it so much better. The flour and the uh, salt? Nope, just a, nope, just a little flour. Just a little salt and we are perfect. Yeah. It's going to make it delicious. Okay? How delicious. Delicious. No, don't really try that. I'm done with that. Mmm. Oh, that's really delicious. Oh, when, mm. when did, when did you That's eat? That's really delicious. When did you eat it all? Well, after I make the mashed potatoes. Look, we have the, look, the chicken's oh. there. Everything's ready. All right? All right. So we're going to put everything away, and then we'll be back with you when we play it up. Okay. Mashed potatoes are ready to go. So we're going to be plating uh. up. We're going to be playing up here in a minute. You know what's the last thing? Okay. Okay, YouTube. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to lift you up a little bit. So we can uh, put you up. Oh, look. We got pouty faces. We're mad because we didn't get to do what we wanted to do. So we're going to give you a plate. 
We're going to give you a plate, a plated portion. Oh, a plated portion of our delicious, how delicious, how delicious. No, no, ask them. Tell, tell, tell you two. How delicious was this chicken strip? Yummy. Yeah, you have it. Yeah. It was delicious. All right, so. You're welcome. We love you. All right, so we're going to take and we're going to make a plate and we're going to make a plate of mashed potatoes. Oh, mashed potatoes. I want to help. Okay, I, you don't have to help. I'm going to make a big hole in the middle. All right, so hey, be still, you're going to fall. And the homemade pan gravy that we made with is cold now. We're going to have to heat it up. We're going to take a couple of chicken strips. Oh, look at that. Mm, you want that? Uh -huh. Okay. A couple of chicken strips. And more, 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 more. Mm -hmm. Why more, more, more? More potatoes. Oh, this is gravy. Okay, so we got chicken strips. Oh, chicken strips, potatoes, gravy. Let's put some gravy on our potatoes. They're too yummy. They are too yummy. <laughs> yummy, delicious. All right. So here we go. In product, mashed potatoes, chicken strips, pan-made gravy. So we can dunk our chicken strips in, which is delicious. How delicious is it? Here. Hey, let's let's tell. Hey, ah, that's nasty. Tell you too. How delicious is this? How delicious is this? Yummy. Yummy, or is it delicious? Delicious. So here you go. We got chicken strips. We got the gravy. We got mashed potatoes. I don't think anybody really needs to know how to make mashed potatoes. Think got that. So here we go. And this is my pan-made homemade gravy. <laughs> Delicious. Mm -hmm. Got you. Okay, YouTube. Relying on you. Copycat. <laughs>